What is high school fleet? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Ah, uh, yes. Another chance to play Hathaway. But enough of him. We've got other things to get to. And you can probably tell by the sound of my voice that I got something going on right now. That's right, it's allergy season. Don't you just love it? No, no, not really. Anyhow, Wargaming is teaming up with High School Fleet in another anime collaboration. That's your cue right there. If you hate anime, you might want to not stick around. I myself am indifferent. If you're like me, curious because you want to know what the heck is going on, by all means, stick around as I give you a quick briefing on the history of High School Fleet. First of all, you've probably realized by now that this is the second Wargaming collaboration with ship-based anime. High School Fleet is the third now that I've actually mentioned in a video, the previous two being Arpeggio of Blue Steel and the Kantai Collection. The former, of course, being the previous Wargaming collaboration, and the latter being the origin of Poi. So yes, it would appear that Japanese love ship-based anime, and it only makes sense that Wargaming would want to jump on a collaboration with a highly popular historic ship-based phenomenon. It's a lot of new players that can be brought into the game just because of their love of a show, and I guarantee you that that will happen. So High School Fleet, what is it? High School Fleet is an anime television series produced by Production IMS. It aired for the first time in April of 2016, and the second season is already live right now, which explains the timing of this collaboration. The show itself revolves around the main protagonist, Akeno Misaki, and her friends. They are students enrolled in the Yokosuka Girls Marine High School. It's their ultimate goal to graduate and become a Blue Mermaid. Akeno and her classmates are assigned to the Destroyer Harakaze. An incident occurs in which they wind up battling their instructor. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Anyhow, the first season revolves around them trying to clear their names while fending off both friendly and enemy ships in an attempt to discover why friendly ships are turning on each other. Ooh, mysterious, right? As with the majority of Japan's sea-based anime, the majority of the planet's continents have been submerged due to some cataclysmic reason. I guess that makes sense, and you gotta have a reason to have historical ships out on the ocean, right? Throughout the trials and tribulations of the Harakaze, a few other notable ships play prominently in the storyline. The first is the Admiral Grash Shpei. The Harakaze duels with the Shpei, and ultimately rescues the Shpei's captain, who becomes friends with the crew. Ah, isn't that so sweet? The other ship that features heavily in the series is the battleship Musashi. The Musashi is captained by one of Akano's childhood friends. Overall, as for the show itself, I found High School Fleet to be a little more approachable than the other two. The animations of the ships in this show are actually pretty good, and I think the show itself is a little more engaging than the other ones. So if you're looking to get into anime, which I'm not personally, it's just not my thing. If it is your thing, that is perfectly fine by me. I don't judge. I would say of the three shows, ARP, The Kantai Collection, and High School Fleet, High School Fleet is probably the most relatable for the World of Warships players. This brings us to the next important part of this collaboration. New ships! I've given you enough backstory of the actual show. You want to know why this is important. Hirokaze is a Kagero-class destroyer. And the Admiral Graf Spey? Well, that's pretty obvious. We can expect both ships to make appearances in-game as earnable ships, much like the ARP missions. As of right now, we don't know if these ships will be merely clones with the usual anime animations and voices, or if they'll actually have some other features and attributes to them. The biggest elephant chilling in the corner right now is the prominence of the Musashi in the series, and the fact that Warships fans have been yearning for her for a very long time. Sadly, I don't suspect that the Musashi, at least in high school fleet form, will be making its way in the game. We've yet to see a tier 10 premium ship yet, and I doubt that Wargaming is going to start now. Though it would be nice to have Yamato's sister ship. So there you have it. You now should have a full understanding of high school fleet, what it's about, and what it's bringing to the game. More ships! It's just like ARP, but not. Anyhow guys, have fun out there. This is Zoop doing his best Harvey Firestein impersonation.
And hopefully I didn't sound a little too rough. I hate being sick and I hate allergies and the spring just makes me an absolute mess. And oh my God. All right, I'm done talking about it. Take care, guys. I'm out.